Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to use a tuple and we're going to update contacts in the tuple list. Uh, this isn't the best way of doing things, this is just an example so don't take it too seriously. So we're going to create contact list here and we're going to add some names into it. Bill and I'm just going to put a phone number there and then we're going to do Joe and let's say another number there and uh, oops maybe error there and let's say last one here Steve and okay. and there we go. Got two of those. Okay, that's better. A little bit of a problem there, I would think. Just uh stick to two there. Okay. okay, we just got two contacts in there. So we're going to create a function called update contact. Right, we're going to declare, we're going to tell it about the global variable, which is the contact list. So we've declared that as a global variable. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to print uh, example. No, we don't need to print an example. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, I'm going to tell the user what to do. So the example is going to be something like Paul. So the user knows what to do. A little bit of information there to the user. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some user info. So I'm going to create a variable here, info. Assigned to input, and then I'm going to tell the user to enter info. Then I'm going to create another variable and assign it to list constructor here, and that's going to be contact list because we can't directly <clears throat> update a tuple because it's immutable. So we're going to have to change it into a list, update it and then change it back into a tuple. So this is how we're doing it. And then once we've changed it into a list, we can append it. So x.append with the info that the user has typed in. Okay. So now the contact list is going to be turned back into a tuple, which is X there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to print updating contact list. We're going to use the time sleep function. Pause it for one second. And then we're going to print off to the user. Print 
contacts updated. And then finally we're going to print off the new contact list that's been updated. Okay. So all we have to do now, we have to call it. So that's going to be update contacts. Save it and run it. Okay, so there we go. So this is the kind of example we want to put in here. So we're going to put uh, Fred. And just a silly phone number. Hit enter. Updating contact list. And we've updated the tuple. So there you go with Fred's entry in it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go on a little bit further and we're going to search this list. So I'm going to create another function called search contacts. And that's going to be a global contact list. It's going to be the global contact list there. So, just going to go down a little bit of an error. There. Oh, there's the error. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's the global contact list there. So now, I'm going to type in a variable called search name, and I'm going to assign that to import. And we're going to say enter name to search. So we're going to enter somebody's name in. All we have to do is enter the name in here. And then we're going to say found. And we're going to sign that to false. And then we're going to do the loop through it. So for contact. in contact list if search name we've entered in contact Print. We're going to print it out and we're going to format the string as well using f string. Print search name. So we're going to print out search name found. And uh, then what we're going to do is sign found true and then we're just going to simply break out of that using break here yeah, so we'll stop there or if that's not the case we're going to use if not found print contact not found. Okay. Right. What we're going to do there, we're just going to save that. So we're going to run update contacts. Now in fact, we're just going to search the contact list. Okay, so we're going to do search contacts. Search contacts okay so basically what we're going to do is we're going to search in this list here in this tuple not list sorry it's a tuple let's just run that okay so who can we search we're going to search for Joe Joe 
search for Joe here. So Joe found. Okay, let's search for somebody who's not in there. Let's have a look. Mark, let's see if Mark's in there. Contact not found. So there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you enjoyed that and I will catch you in another video. Bye-de-bye.